Hey everyone, it's Bailey and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Makeup Bag Monday. This is my weekly Shop My Stash series where I take four to five products, test them out for a full week, and then I report back on how they work for me. So this week we used a lot of new products I picked up in the month of November and honestly this was like a eh, kind of week with the products. Um, so let's go ahead and just get into it. So first thing we used is the new eyeshadow palette that I picked up earlier in November. November, and it is the Tati Beauty Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. I got this uh, right when they released it because I love Tati and I thought it was a cool little palette and I've been using it honestly for more than a week but I definitely have some thoughts so this is what it looks like in case you're not familiar. I like the way that the palette is laid out where it has all your mattes, your sequins, your metallics, and your glitters and then you have the same colors just in the different finishes in the vertical rows so it's a really cool palette that way and you do have a ton of just like everyday basic shades your basic like cream shades your basic blending shades your basic blacks and then if you want to make things a little bit more warm you have your orange row or if you want to add a little bit of a purple edge to it you have the purple row and I want to love this palette so so much and like part of me does but after using it for so long I feel like I'm kind of limited because for me there's really only one like free shade I can use which is this and it's very very warm but for example today since I'm wearing this more chunky sweater and it's you know December when you're watching the video I wanted something a little bit more cool toned and it just wasn't an option with this palette I mean you could totally like mix a little bit I mean, make maybe a little bit of the black and make it a little bit more cool, but I'm just not that fancy, especially like in the morning when I'm getting ready. I don't have time to mix and match. Um, and then another thing I noticed with the metallics, and before I say this, let it just be known that I really like the formula of the metallics, which is the like more traditional like shimmer row, because they are so creamy and they're almost like wet like when you swatch one of these it already looks like you dampen the pigment that's how like just metallic and pretty it is without actually having to dampen it so you know kind of saves you a step but for me I have hooded eyes and it doesn't matter what primer I use or if I use a concealer or whatever I use to set my base it creases on me so bad like I mean, I can't even get through a work day without having just like tiger stripes on my eyelids, which is so sad because the shades are so beautiful. But then after a couple hours, at least for me, it's just like crease city and looks really, really bad. So that is definitely a bummer. I will say though, I really am impressed with the sequin row. This is definitely a very unique formula. To me, it's as if they took the matte shades and then added just a splash of glitter into the formula. And it looks really, really cool on your lid. It's like appropriate glitter for the office, if you will, because you get a really pretty sparkle, but it's not like, whoa glitter so I really like those I like the mattes those are good we already discussed the metallics now with the glitters I've only used these a couple of times because I don't wear glitter on the day today um, I used it today I used the shade on my lid today and I mean these are really really pretty glitters and I like that they aren't you know super flaky glitters they have enough of a binder in there where they do stick together pretty well um, I would suggest using a glitter glue with it I did not use that today because it was downstairs and like I'm not doing anything today so I didn't feel like I really needed to but the glitters are really pretty and I think it also adds to the uniqueness of the palette and if I remember correctly this palette was around like $48 so it's pretty standard price for what you get so for me I feel like it's a fair price for the quality and the amount of shadows you get because you do get a lot in here um, but there definitely are some like that's so great things. If you have hooded eyes, let me know if the metallic shades do the same thing to you. But for me, I'm going to give this palette like a B plus. I like it. I'm glad I have it. But there are definitely some little edits and little tweaks that I would do to make this palette better. So I'm definitely curious what she comes out with next. But with that said, for this palette specifically, it's just kind of like a B plus. It's not bad, but it's not like perfect. Okay, moving on to the next thing that we used this week. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. And I still have such like a love-hate relationship with this. I'm very curious to see what it looks like on camera. Um, so let's first start with what it is. So it is a liquid contour slash like bronzer product. I have the shade Fair Medium because 
I'm pale, but they also have a medium deep, I believe. Um, and I like how easy this is to blend out. As you saw in the demo, when you first like apply it, it looks like a lot, but I just blend mine out with my sponge um, and it blends out really, really easy. Honestly, it's like effortless, but then I'm afraid it blends out to the point where you really can't see anything. So let me know what you think in the comments because I feel like it's not super, super noticeable, especially for like a contour. The way I've been using it is more so for a bronzer because I don't know, I just think it makes a pretty bronzer. I mean, I think on camera it looks okay, it looks nice, but I think for the price it's pretty expensive. So I don't know if it's necessarily worth it in that aspect. But I'm curious to try like the highlighting version because I like how easy this blends out and I really like the texture of this. And I feel like they might have like a blushy kind of color in this formula too, which I'd be interested to try. So again, this is like a B plus product, like the Tati palette. There are things I really like about it, but there's still an element where it's not like necessarily perfect, but it's not bad by any means. So if you've used this or if you've used anything from this like cream product range from Charlotte Tilbury. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Okay, moving on to another like, this more so is like a B minus product. This is from Melt and this is their blush in the shade Cali Dream. I got this because it was in Kathleen Light's November Favorites and she looks good in seriously everything. And it looks so pretty on her and I feel like we have a fairly similar complexion. She's a little bit deeper than me, but not by much. So I picked this up. This is what it looks like. It's a really pretty, like true, bright peach and the way Kathleen described it is that it was supposed to give you a really pretty glow without being like glittery and I don't think I see that unfortunately but I mean I think like the color is okay I don't know if it's necessarily the best for my skin tone I'm still just so on the fence I really like the formula of it I think it goes on the cheeks really really pretty it's very smooth um, but I'm not seeing that glow. I'm wearing a highlighter, so if you see any glow, it's from the highlighter. But I just, I don't know. Like, I think it looks good, but for the price, I'm not sure if it's so much worth it. I want to say this is closer to $30 because Melt's a little bit more expensive. <sighs> yeah, it's just another one of those, like, a B, a B product. Like, it's not bad. It's not like I'm going to return it because I think it's fine. I can get use out of it. But it's just not like, oh, this is my new, like, holy grail because it's not. All right, and finally, the last thing we use this week is a lip liner from Maybelline. And this is their Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Totally Toffee. And I really want to be a lip liner person because I feel like it just makes your, like, look, look a little bit more clean and crisp. And I used it like once this week, not gonna lie. And I decided it's just way too much effort in the morning. And especially like after you eat lunch or something at work, like I'm not gonna go in with another lip liner and just like, that's just not me. I'm definitely more so a give me like a tinted balm or something and let me put it on. My goal is to have my lips look good in 0.5 seconds and I don't think that really applies to a lip liner. But with that said, I think it is a good lip liner. I think, especially for the price, you can't really beat it. It's nice and creamy. It's really easy to apply. I'm wearing it with some gloss over top. This is just the Glossier Lip Gloss, just their like clear guy. And I think it looks really, really good. It applies really easy. So if you are a lip liner gal, then I think you would like it. But for me, it's just... It's only if I like am really trying that day, and most of the days I'm not. So for me, it just doesn't work with my lifestyle, but as a product, I think it is an A product for sure. Okay, so those were all the products that we used this week. Uh, definitely, like, it was not a bad week by any means, but it wasn't like a, yes, all these new products are so amazing, I'm so excited. It was not that but at least it wasn't like a dead of a week either so with that said let's go ahead and talk about the products that we're going to be using this upcoming week so first thing for eyeshadow I got the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette in a boxy charm and I've been wanting to play with the Dominique Cosmetics formula for a while and this is a nice little palette to get in a boxy charm this is like the mini version of her like full size from here so it's like a nice little sample and I think the colors are really 
really really pretty. I'm definitely gonna have to incorporate some more eyeshadow palettes to get you know blending shades and stuff but I really am excited to test out the formula and see what this brand is all about. Next for complexion my skin's doing really really good so this is all I want to do. I want to just do a touch of concealer so I'm gonna be using my NARS what is this called soft matte complete concealer. This was always a go-to for me when I'm just doing concealer because it has a really good skin like finish and maybe I'll even hit pan on it because there's a big dent in here so I'm going to use this for concealer this week and then I think I'm going to try and skip foundation and just do a little bit of powder because I've noticed I've gotten a little bit greasy by the end of the day um, so I'm going to be using the Superstay full coverage powder from Maybelline I have the shade 120 classic ivory Hopefully it works. We'll see. Um, and if not, well, then we'll have to figure out a plan B. But I haven't used this yet. I've heard some good things about it, though. Hopefully it works with my dry skin. We'll see. But my skin right now is, like, fairly normal. Um, I don't think there's any dry patches, so that is good. And then for blush, I'm going to be breaking out my Becca blushes, which I don't even know if they make these anymore. I'll have to look into that, but these are just their mineral blushes. They are some of my favorites, so if they don't make these anymore, that'll be super, super sad. Um, but I'm going to be using the shade Flower Child, which is just a pretty pink, and then the shade Songbird, which is a little bit more of like a nudie peach. So these two will be my go-to for the week. And then lastly for mascara, I'm going to be using my Benefit Their Real Mascara. I haven't used this seriously like probably for a year now and I remember I liked it back in the day but it kind of like poked my eyelashes I don't know we'll see I have a sample of it so I just want to like use it and see what's up so that is it for this week's makeup bag Monday if you like these videos don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share it because it seriously makes my day and I know you guys really love the series so I'd love for you to share it with your gal pals or whoever else you think would like the series so please share it um, and if you want to watch some more of these makeup bag Mondays I'll put a playlist right up here or if you just like to watch another video of mine I'll put another one down here for you and if you haven't already subscribed please do so by clicking up there I looked at my analytics the other day and like 70% of y'all that are watching are not subscribed so subscribe but uh, with that said that is everything thank you guys so much for hanging out and I will see you guys next time bye